Blitz morning, friends, folks. We're back on this thing called the job. <clears throat> it is Monday, February 12th. So, without further ado, let's dive right into Bolt Man's lesson, and this is external fruit. We have a scripture of Psalm 1 and 3. He is like a tree planted by the riverbank, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers, or whatever she does prospers. As long as that tree be in the tree of life, the Bible is planted in the tablet of your heart through a surrender, it'll always grow because the Lord will then give you living waters, and the living waters flow from your belly, and they're for other people to drink of. And that's just simply giving them the word, bringing them golden apples in a silver basket. And we have a quote. Our actions disclose what goes on within us, just as its fruit makes known a tree otherwise unknown to us. But when we know the tree of life, we bear the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is love, kindness, mercy, unfailing love, kindness, hospitality, and so forth and so on. That's all the good things. And against these things, nothing can come against love. No law. <clears throat> Inward. God plants the Spirit within us. We have the eternal Son of God in our being by faith, none other than the duck of Akasha, Jesus Christ. When non-believers read the Gospels, the stories of Jesus ought to remind them of those of us who believe. The fact that there is sometimes little visible resemblance between the biblical Jesus and the Spirit dwelling in our flesh today is a tragedy. There should be in our character and lifestyle a clear correspondence to our controversial Galilean of ancient history. <clears throat> God's character is expressed in his works. What he does emanates from his personality. He expects the same of us. Our faith will result in works. The fruit of the Spirit is not just internally received, but externally expressed. <clears throat> it's not just in us. It comes outward in expressions. <clears throat> God wants us in deep inward places, but he always leads us outward. Always remember the light, the darkness cannot comprehend the light. He'll pull you right on out of that. His spirit does not invade our being to remain hidden. We are the display of his, of his glory, not its best kept secret. It's no good to know the Lord's word, but just keep it to yourself. Go high up in the mountains of solitude and go woo saw around, but not share it with anyone. That ain't, that ain't what it's about. You want everyone to know. The one who realizes this, who has meditated on the life and law of God, inscribed upon his or her heart, will be firmly established. He will, he or she will be like a tree planted by streams of water, by the riverbank, and there will be fruit. Fruit will come, and the fruit will be good. Why? Because there is an infinitely rich, ever-flowing stream of water that nourishes this tree. It is not a tree that establishes itself. It is planted and intended by the living God. So a lot of people think when you give your life to the Lord, you're a goody two shoes. No, you're like a, you're just like a tree planted by the riverbank, and the riverbank is nothing but full of God's loving water. It's just that simple. It's not that you're a goody two shoes. It's just that the Lord shows you how to do good, and someone can't comprehend that, so they call you this foolish name. Not the only one among many. That's one I despise. Oh, I hate that goody two shoes marks right there. Indeed, the conclusion. <clears throat> God calls us to be like himself. His eternal character produced the purity of the law. Words of wisdom, the voice of the prophets, the saving work of Jesus, and the life of the church. What does our character produce? If it comes from God, it produces reflections of the very same themes. It produces a kind of prosperity that glorifies God and keeps us in his extravagant grace. Remember, grace is unmerited favor. It's something we didn't deserve. It produces fruit that lasts forever. You see, good fruit, love, faith, hope, gentleness, kindness, hospitality, mercy, unfailing love. Man, and all that's... There's more fruits of the Spirit that are good. The bad fruits of the Spirit, you best believe there are. Bitterness. Think of a fruit that is sour and you eat it. You know, it tastes bitter. It's mushy. It's gross. You don't want to keep eating it. But if you're hungry enough to be a fool, 
It says a fool repeats his foolish as a dog returns his vomit. Man, why would you keep eating something that's no good for you? That's what drugs and alcohol do. Keep going back to it. What good does it do you? What you need is a hand of God to deliver you. And then when it was all that bad fruit, I guarantee you will grow good fruit. As a prisoner of alcohol for 22 years in drugs, I know what I'm talking about because the Lord took me out of that darkness and put me in his light. January 5th, 2008. And that's why when I went and I spoke over Aunt, in Aunt Betty's service looking down at her, I know I seen flesh that was vacated, but I seen a beautiful spirit that rose up to the kingdom of heaven. And that's why I speak with authority. Aunt Betty does. She rooted me in them living waters. And Uncle Cecil showed me how to be work hard to become a leader, be lazy, and become a slave. There was no laziness in that house. And it's still into this day. And my grandma and grandpa, my aunts, mom and dad, Grandpa Willie and, and Grandma Bessie Snake, they were my introduction to a Baptist church over there in Fort Cobb, Oklahoma. And now here I am all these years later. Didn't have no sense till I was 36. But now... I am, I'm learning, I'm learning y'all to feed this external fruit because really it's eternal fruit, eternity's forever. And I'm going to go home to the kingdom of heaven, but my time ain't yet. Time to be about the father's business. Be blessed in your iron journey. Shout out to James and Jenna Redbird, man. Love y'all. Y'all been on my heart. And next time y'all come preach at Birch Church, let us know. We'll be there. Adios.